Welcome back, fat boys. It is nice and early in the morning. As you can see, it is pitch black outside. And it is time to go on our long road trip again. Since it's a long trip, we're gonna need the phone charger. Oh yeah. And also because it is freaking cold outside and I don't have all winter gear yet. A little trick is to wear some gloves, some like surgical gloves, some medical gloves underneath your riding gloves. Let's get on the road. And we are on the road, continuing our way bright and early. Not even bright, it's freaking dark still. Luckily, because I live just so close to the interstate, I'm already doing all my highway miles. Now comes the long part. The next 11 and a half hours of riding. Let's get to it, guys. And also, in case you don't know, it's about 40 degrees here right now, too, so gonna be fighting the cold just a little bit oh the early morning dawn it is so freaking cold outside oh my god seeing these mountains just peeking through the sunlight is so freaking gorgeous oh, I'm gonna miss it down in Florida but you know what it's gonna be a hell of a time so I don't think I said where I was going yet I left early this morning so that way I could go all the way down to Tampa to meet up with the Rap Star crew at their Forgotten Angels camp out. I'm hoping to meet her two wheels in person for the first time. I'm also hoping to meet Blackhead for the first time in person. Really want to connect with them. I know a couple of you guys have mentioned it'd be really cool for us to work together. Hoping to make that happen. And I can't wait to catch back up with Shade Tree. Awesome dude. And I love the foundation and everything that he is supporting with this group. If you are really interested in everything that Forgotten Angels is about, here's a little summary. But if you're really interested, I really recommend going over to Shade Tree Surgeon's channel and watching some of his stuff as he is able to explain a lot better and he has actually talked to Dave and Sydney to know everything that they do and everything that they have been through. From my understanding and what I and what he has said is that foster children when they turn 18 they are most of the time just kicked out onto the street with nothing but what they own and if they are lucky and it is more than just the clothes that they own on their backs it really is everything that they just throw into a trash bag because they just want to get rid of the children because those foster parents don't receive any money anymore. So he is raffling off Road King Kong, the 131 Road King special in partnership with Burt Barracuda Harley Davidson and it is just so freaking awesome. I think he mentioned last night that they raised over $200,000 alone just from the raffles on this bike. And that is so amazing. So if you really are interested, I highly recommend going and hitting them up. Look out, please go and visit Forgotten Angels. I will link them in the description down below. If you want to donate, I highly recommend it. Please, it is always for a good cause. Charlotte, North Carolina, here we come. Here we go, brother. Ooh, man, that is just so pretty. So pretty took the biker out of me for a second there. Yeah! This is fog. Holy shit! <laughs> Woo! That was a little creepy there. Oh, this is just so cool though. Oh. All right, I'm going to catch you guys when it's less foggy and then there's more sun out, probably on my first stop. So I will see y'all there. Hey. 
on the first stop. <laughs> oh man. It's starting to warm up. Finally warming up getting some feeling back in me, so I'm gonna start stripping some layers now. And I can show you what I am wearing. So as you can see, jacket. Medium jacket. And then the inner jacket. T-shirt. Next sleeve to keep it warm. Head a hoodie over the head and between the helmet to help keep my head warm too. I have pants, I have my motorcycle jeans, pants, and then job. Just keeping myself warm to say the least. All banged up and ready to hit back on the road. Let's get on, boys. Ramming speed, woo We are now somewhere in the middle of South Carolina. I have no idea where. Apparently near Route 20 in White Oak. Tells me nothing. I'm just following the talking box. I don't know how a lot of you guys like to do your travels, but I'm the type of person that I will not stop if I can help it. I will keep going as long as I possibly can until pretty much I need gas and then I will take my brakes. That's about it. And then my brakes are still pretty limited. Maybe except when I'm doing all my recording and stuff like that, taking a little bit longer breaks because I got to set up cameras. I got to make sure everything's working out fine for you guys. But if I'm by myself and I'm just going on a long trip, man, I'm probably at a gas station for 10 minutes and then I'm back on the road. And that, those are the only times I stop. Put gas, go pee, get something to drink, and then I'm on the way. But I am so much happier now that it is finally decided to start to warm up. The further south I go, the warmer it's gonna get. I can already feel it. But the only thing left that I really need to get to make a huge difference in riding is gloves. I need to get some really good winter gloves. So if you guys have any recommendations on really good winter gloves, I would love to hear them. I really do want some nice winter gloves that will last me a long time. They don't necessarily have to be heated, but just something that's gonna help keep the cold out of my fingertips. Alrighty, onward to our destination. It awaits us on the horizon. <laughs> Look at that! Five hours in and we're finally hitting I-95. Hell yeah, brother. Still got another six hours. Six hours and 20 minutes to go. Look, straight riding. Let's get it. Hell yeah, brothers. Something tells me I'm gonna be seeing you guys a little bit later. Ride safe out there, y'all. This is the best thing to stop at a gas station and see. Hi dear. Hi dear. Yes. No. A nice another quick little gas stop. All fueled up. Ready to go.
It's definitely, it's not Virginia. It is now hot in all this clothing I'm wearing. Oh my God. I definitely need to shed some more layers next time I stop. By the time I get down to Tampa, I'm going to be a giant pool of sweat. You know, feels like we're making some good time. Good time, yeah. Only five hours left. Five hours! 339 more miles to go. Let's see how many miles we have done. 416. You're doing good, baby girl. You're doing good. Oh boy, the deuce that hatters me is really calling to me right now, but I think I'm gonna pass. That was tempting. As we now come around the bend, we get our first glimpse that the destination is in within grass. Over this crest lies the infamous, the one and the only, the one that hosts his own breed of man. The one where man is not tamed. Where man is born of flesh and meat and is created from the depth of the bowels of this state. Behold, Florida! I hope y'all are enjoying my shade tree surgeon impersonations. A few inches later. So I'm now here at the gas station off of 301. And it has been a very long day, to say the very least. I still have about three hours to go. So I'm not quite there. But I'm definitely feeling it. I'm actually at the point where everything's numb so I can get through it, but I still feel all of it. I'm at that like right in between. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. One eternity later. So a little bit of a change of plans. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if the campgrounds are 100% open right now. So anyways, there's also a pre-party meetup over at Birth Barracuda happening right now. So we're actually going to be heading on over there. And then I'm going to be spending the night, the first night down here with my sister and her husband because family is tight y'all and plus like how can i not visit my sister when i'm only gonna be like 30 minutes away you know this is why cruise control is one of my favorite things on long rides because now i can just lean up against the, my bag and just let the bike go where it needs to go Just over 100 miles. Just over. Hardest part coming up. Last 100 miles. Woo! And then it's ready to party. Party, 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 party. Hour of rabbit speed. Woo! Getting closer, inching our way towards Bert's Barracuda. Ready to conquer the night with the Prep Star crew. Let's go! Here we go, I see the city on the horizon, and we're going full ramming speed. I do love the Florida sunsets though. Woo! I forgot what it takes to be a Florida rider and Florida driver. Got it, especially freaking Tampa. Tampa City Limit, woo! Ugh, we're getting close now. I can feel it. 23 miles to go, the sun is still up. It is gorgeous. This is exactly how I wanted it to be. And here comes the Tampa traffic. I do love the sound of this bike though, man. Can't wait to get a good exhaust on it. However, so you guys don't have to sit through all of this traffic along with me, let's just fast forward a little bit, shall we? And look at that, we only got another 14 miles. Yeah, we only, look at that, we only got another 14 miles, 16 minutes. Only gonna be just a couple minutes. But knowing this group, I doubt they will actually start on time anyways. 
Oh, look at that Tampa sunset. Mm. Right over the gorgeous bay. Hell, hell yeah. I have only ever been to Bird Barracuda one other time in my life, but I will tell you what. When they do something, they do it to the extreme. So needless to say, I'm very excited to see what's going to be going on down tonight between birds and the prep star crew. Hell is going to unleash tonight. Been on the road for over 12 hours and I'm down to three minutes left. Oh, thank you. following you talking box where you taking me okay whatever you say I see it I freaking see it oh freaking made it oh here we go <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy I freaking made it. Now the fun begins. I'm feeling really freaking tired, but so excited to eat this. Let's find out just how good it is. Here we have the Elysian Space Dust IPA. Delicious. And then their homemade tortilla chips and delicious. What in the crap is this? I'm trying to figure out how to eat this right now. All right, guys, awesome time up here. Uh, thank you, Shade Tree Surgeon, for bringing everyone out here. And also, thank you, Birds Barracuda, for also hosting this amazing bike night. The food here was freaking awesome. But with that, I think I'm going to end the night as it's been a very, very long day. So again, thank you. Make sure you stick around and find out and watch the next episode to see the true camp out. So if you like this video, guys, make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And if you aren't already, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.